Good morning. We'll get started in just a few minutes. We'll just give another minute and we will get started. I know there's a few more people logging on. So good morning, everybody. My name is Gina Legeza. I'm the area sales manager with America's Preferred Home Warranty. In the chat box, I have included my contact information, my email, and my phone number. We're going to talk about uh, a couple things today um, in terms of helping your business as well uh, with practices and processes too. So before we get started, a little bit about myself. I've been an area sales manager with America's Preferred Home Warranty for seven years. Um, proud to announce this is the second year in the row, 2020 and 2021. I'm the number one area sales manager in the country for my company. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, so just so you know, you're in very good hands. And my number one objective is to not only make you look good, uh, make your clients happy to ensure that you'll get repeat referrals in business. Um, I never like to refer to myself as a vendor. I'm a partner. So for those of you, even if you're not on a team, uh, you probably didn't know this, but when you walked into this meeting today, you have a new team member and that's myself. Uh, my job is to educate you on why a home warranty, especially in this market, how today it's going to protect you, your clients, what it covers, what it doesn't cover. Uh, we'll go through a little bit of scripting for seller and buyer, how you sell it. And we'll leave a few minutes for some questions and some answers. So if anyone has um, anything that they wanna bring up immediate, you can also put it in the chat. So let's talk about why a home warranty in this market. Uh, a lot of people will say you're protecting the biggest investment of your life. That's true. Uh, a lot of people will say that um, it gives you a peace of mind. Uh, I like that as well. But the number one answer, especially in this market, is you're eliminating risk. It is a risk reduction for all parties. Being in a pandemic seller's market, which we still are very much, and I've studied the inventory for 2022 and the market trends and what we're going to see. We're going to see a mirror of 2021. That's what the market trends are telling us. 
uh, kind of a difficult year for home warranty in 2021. In a year where we were in multiple offers, people were waiving inspections, they were taking the warranty out. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about bringing that warranty back in. I want you to picture yourself, obviously you're the client's most trusted advisor. And in a world of them, you know, being in bidding wars and coming out of pocket over asking, and all these visions and dreams of no wallpaper, wallpaper, and everything needs to be white cabinets. Think about we all work in a referral basis, right? Think about how likely your client is ever to refer a friend or a loved one to you if you didn't mention a home warranty as their trusted advisor and kind of talk to them how important it is to make sure they have this level of protection in the first year. And if they're going to ever refer anybody to you, if you never talked or made sure they were protected with the home warranty and something goes wrong and they have to replace their entire furnace system. Do you think, honestly, that they're ever going to refer anybody else to you? The answer is no. So the home warranty actually is protecting your referral tree. So why a home warranty and why one in this global pandemic seller's market? It is a risk reduction for all parties. It's eliminating risk. We're going to talk about risk a lot in this presentation. So what does a home warranty cover? It's not insurance. It's a one-year policy. Okay. Um, it actually protects all the major systems in the home, including appliances. So I did make up a really cute word for what the home warranty protects. Peach, it protects plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating, okay? So all the major systems in the home. A lot of people have asked me in the past, Gina, what if we have an in-law suite and that is a kitchen and it mirrors the upstairs? It would not cover an in-law suite. It's covering all the major systems in the home in the main part of the home. Okay, so that's what it's covering. Uh, <clears throat> let's talk about, and I'm going to share my screen because I think this is very, I'm not able to share my screen, so that's okay. Um, lucky I memorized everything anyway. Um, so let's talk about why a home warranty for a seller. Okay, when you are listing a home warranty, or you're listing with a home warranty, it's very important to talk to your seller to list with one. And one of the scripting that Gary Keller, he always talks about scripting and um, you know that sort of thing. The most important thing to list with a home warranty, the reason for that is it's showing that the home is in good working order. It's gonna stand out um, amongst all the rest of the homes. And you also want to make sure that you're giving your client complimentary coverage during the time of listing. So what they get with our policy during the time of listing, it's one policy um, that transfers to the buyer when we go to the closing table. So it's not one for the seller and one for the buyer. It's one policy. And what the policy does is they get complimentary coverage during time of listing. They get up to $1,000 in claims that they can put in and they get plumbing, electrical, hot water tank um, are just some of the items that they get when you list with a home warranty. They, pay, they don't pay anything for this warranty until we go to the closing table, okay? So they pay nothing. What's really important is we're the only home warranty company as your partner. When you list with a home warranty, your seller uh, gets uh, a legal coverage called List Secure. What List Secure is, you have to list with a home warranty. It protects your seller. If there's any post sale disputes, we're going to give your seller $1,000 to any attorney of their choosing. Again, this is only when you list with a home warranty. And then it goes through to closing and changes hands to the buyer. So not only is your seller getting complimentary coverage, they're getting legal protection as well. When you list with a home warranty, you're protecting your client in that you're not opening them up. So let's say uh, Ashley is on this call. Let's say that Ashley is representing the seller and Dawn is representing the buyer. 
Ashley, you want to be smart enough to list with our home warranty so that if Dawn comes in and brings the buyer, she's not asking for a company. I want a home warranty from a company that your poor seller could be paying triple cost. Remember, our one-year home warranty is only $425, okay? We have a 460. It's the exact same warranty. It's just a different deductible. That means when the homeowner open claims, they're either paying a $50 deductible or a $100 deductible. We don't have confusing packages like good, better, best. We have one uh, warranty with two different deductibles. And for the seller, it's very important when you're listing with a home warranty that you add seller preferred upgrade. It's only $75. And you want to have this for your seller because if you don't, they will not have appliance and heating and cooling coverage during the time of listing. So again, you want to make sure when you list with a home warranty, you always put the $75 seller upgrade. Um, so if you add $425 plus $75, every time you're in listing position, you want to just think of $500. That's an easy number to remember. So that's a reason why to list with a home warranty. Also, something that I'm really going to wow you guys with, you want to list with a home warranty because if the buyer comes in and makes an offer and has a home inspection and things come up on that home inspection, guess what? Your seller, because you were smart enough to list with a home warranty, they can actually call in claims. Isn't that incredible? Because the buyer came in, they did some home inspections, they detected some problems. That home warranty that you listed with can actually help um, during time of listing as well. So um, that is why it's so important to list with a home warranty for your seller and the benefits that's going to bring your seller and reducing that risk uh, in this market. For the buyer, you always want to list with, a, uh, you always want to represent a buyer and make sure. Um, encourage them to get a home warranty because it's going to protect that risk, but they're going to use the home completely different. I'm going to tell all of you a, call, a shocking statistic that you're going to be blown away. And this is an NAR statistic, okay? So it's credible. Over 76% of homeowners have a major system failure in the first 30 days of home ownership. So let's think about this. They've probably drained some life savings. They've came up over asking, maybe they've borrowed from family members to get their dream home. Now they've got maybe a furnace issue. They're going to come out of pocket, but what the home warranty is absolutely designed to do is to give them financial relief, relieve that burden so that when they come out of pocket, they're not going to see a hole in their pants. OK, it's giving them financial relief. So the buyer is going to use the home completely different. That's very important that we have a warranty for their protection of this investment. A lot of people are asking me, Gina, what do I do if my client closed a week ago and they've changed their mind and they want the home warranty? Whatever you do, please make sure that you don't send them to our 1-800 number. You want to always contact me directly and email me fill out the application, we'll get them real estate pricing. If you just send them to the 1-800 number, they're going to pay over $150 more. So again, if they've closed and they've decided that they want you know, to get a home warranty, make sure that you fill out the application and send it to me PDF, and we will make that happen for them, OK? Um, systems. Everybody on this call, whether you use DocuSign or DotLoop, uh, please join me for my next class. Uh, we have an innovative product called RoPro. You can enter your forms on, uh, in RoPro, our online web portal system, in under 30 seconds. It's the easiest, fastest way to manage your business, to know if your client's warranty is paid for. Super important because we won't pay a claim out unless their warranty is paid for. You can keep track of your warranties, generate an invoice for the title company. Everyone who is on this call today, um, please, if you even want to email me individually, and I can do an agent one-on-one, -on -one, only five to 10 minutes, we can create an account and I will show you. All top producers use RealPro. 
So very, very important for all of you that are on this call, look in the chat box, you'll see my email, write it down, email me if you would like me to demonstrate real pro for you, you will love it, okay? We talked about why a home warranty in this market, what it covers um, for the seller, why it's important for the buyer. We know they're going to use the home differently. Let's talk about some differentials with us as your partner. We're the only home warranty company that allows homeowners to choose their own licensed contractor. This is huge for your business. And let me tell you why. When you've got a claim and, and the person has no furnace or no heat, they can get the contractor if they're choosing out right now, okay, and get an approval and a decision to move forward and get it repaired or replaced. Uh, it's immediate result. You don't have to wait uh, weeks to get somebody in. Um, we're different because we don't control the contractor. Uh, we don't control the parts. We believe it's in the best interest of the client to utilize choosing your own contractor. If the client has to replace, a lot of people think that we don't replace, we do. We give dollars towards replacement and that's based on age and condition. For example, um, the most that we pay out is up to $2,250 if they have to replace their furnace. Uh, we have a scale at our claims department where uh, we are going to calculate what the homeowner gets. And here's, here's the good news, guys. For only $425, okay, and you protected your client and their investment, if they have to replace something, let me tell you how fantastic our program is. When a client replaces something like a furnace or an air conditioning, guess what they're getting? They're getting a manufacturer warranty. They can put whatever they want in that home, whatever product, and they can choose whoever they want to put that product in. But guess what else they're getting? That $425 policy has got them a 10 year of parts and service in a brand new unit. So I want you guys to think of that, what the home warranty actually is doing long-term for this client and what it's getting up. So um, on page of our brochure, uh, page six of 12 goes over what the maximums that we pay up and out to. And I wanna talk about scripting. And again, I love using Ashley, she's on our call, her name, how I would talk to Ashley is I would hand her a brochure because it is your responsibility from local level to give a brochure to your client. And I would say, Ashley, here's your one-year home warranty that's been paid for by the seller. When you open the brochure, it will say if you should have a claim, what to do. You'll contact their 1-800 number. Everything that they don't cover is in the brochure in black bolded uh, lettering. You know, some things are going to be covered. Some things are not going to be covered. Um, they have maximums that they pay up to, that they pay out. Doesn't mean, you know, you're going to get the most when you have to replace, but they're going to give you financial aid for these out-of-pocket expenditures. That's how I would script and that's how I would talk to my clients. If you talk to your clients that way, folks, you're setting the expectation table of what they can expect in their first year. Um, for those of you who are not my age on this call, I'm going to date myself. Oprah Winfrey used to have a fabulous talk show. And at Christmas time, she used to have her favorite things. Like people are winning cars on the show. Uh, they're winning fur coats, you know, creams for their face that are $500. I think the biggest misconception that folks have about a home warranty is that it's the HGTV episode of Property Brothers. It's going to trick out your home. It's replacing everything. You don't have to spend a, uh, a, um, anything out of your pocket. That is not what it's intended to do. Again, it's going to give you financial relief for when you do come out of pocket, okay? Uh, and it will protect your investment and the risk. And one thing that I'm really proud to talk about, guys, on our brochure, this is an industry first. You'll notice at the bottom, the application page that you fill out, you'll see a waiver where your client can sign. This is who you're representing. And what that waiver means is, I want you to get in the habit of offering a home warranty every time to every client. Um, if they decide to not take advantage of the home warranty and take it, you want to make sure they're signing the waiver. And here's why. If they sue you for whatever reason, and it goes to binding arbitration, 
we're going to protect you 75% of your ENO deductible we're going to cover. It's our program called Client Secure. That's up to $3,750. So super important that you're offering the home warranty to everybody. If they don't want it, just have your client sign the waiver. Protect yourself. It's an industry first for protecting you as the agent against any lawsuits. So super, super important. Okay. I'm going to open up the call because we've learned why the home warranty, uh, what it covers. Uh, we've learned about for the seller, you know, why for the buyer, uh, choosing your own contractor, our legal protection, client secure. Um, so I want to open up and, and if anybody has any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me, but I will tell you one quick thing. There are two forms that you are filling out. It's an application form and a data collection form. The data collection form, you can choose to put appliance names or you can choose to do check marks. You do not have to do both, one or the other. And you're filling out a data collection form that is RESPA compliant because every time that you guys um, sell a home warranty, you're getting $100, okay? So Jose is very generous uh, in that you get $100 every time that you sell a home warranty. Uh, allow, if you have the data collection form, the property to close, four to six weeks, we cut a check to the market center and I believe it's direct deposited into your account. So um, in addition to protecting your client, protecting yourself, the investment, eliminating that risk, um, you're also getting something for selling and it's $100. So I'd like to open up now. You can unmute yourselves if anybody has any questions for me. I have a question. Hi, Dawn, thank you, go ahead. How long do the buyers have to opt in to the warranty after they've closed? You know, typically I'm gonna say a week or so. Um, and then if that happens, contact me. And then what I'll do is I'll advise you to fill out the brochure. I'll ask for a special permission from my leadership to get it into our system. So about a week. Um, if it's anything past that, then they would call the 1-800 number and ask for our direct consumer department. And again, you want to use words like buzz sentences, like you'll pay up to 150 more. So if you're really thinking about this, you want to do this before closing because it's going to really protect uh, and help you with out-of-pocket expenditures for the next year. Great question, Dawn. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, let me open it up for this. Jessica, go ahead with your question. Thank you. Okay, I have a question. With the Real Pro, I use that already. What do you do and how do you get rid of warranties where the deal didn't close? Like I had one that the day before closing, it failed. Mm -hmm. And I, that warranty, I still get emails that, oh, you need to finish this, which I just need to cancel it. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Jessica. This is an outstanding question as well. I'm the only one that can cancel it um, through my staff. Um, so I would cancel, just give me, send me an email of the okay. list of the property. Jessica, can you do me a favor? If I can put you on the spot, um, what do you think? Can I get a testimonial of how fabulous and easy Real Pro is to use for your business? Oh, it's super easy. When you go to enter the stuff, I think it's actually faster than filling out the PDF form and getting. Now, I still use that form to get the signatures and everything. Mm -hmm. That way, like you said, everybody's covered. But at the end of the day, I just fill out the information on RealPro. The invoice is generated. I can email it to title. I can throw it in. I use um, dot loop. So I throw it in dot loop to show that it's been entered. And actually, as we were talking, I realized a closing hadn't got paid yet. So I just take the invoice and send it back to title and say, hey, when did you, you know, pay this bill? Thank you so much. I appreciate that shout out and testimony to Jessica. I look forward to getting an email from you and we will um, get those properties off uh, your Real Pro homepage. Thank you. Thank you. Who else has questions? Sorry. Let me ask. Me. 
John. Yes. Hi, John. Sorry. <laughs> so off of what Jessica just said, um, do you get notified of um, your clients? like what they've got help with so you could um keep in touch and see how things are going and all that fun stuff thank you don um great point we do have something uh called the repair card um we used to put them in your mailboxes at the market center what we do now is we give you a digital email it'll say the property address your client's name what was repaired or replaced in the dollar amount um so yes, it's called a repair card. And this is an incredible touch um, because you can contact your client and just say, Don, I understand that your furnace was fixed. How did everything go with America's preferred home warranty? You know that agents that are utilizing these repair cards, and obviously this is only if you've put a warranty on it, uh, agents that are utilizing this tool are increasing their business. Um, with at least seven to 10 more clients in that year. Um, so they're literally scripting and saying, hey, Don, I understand um, the furnace was fixed. How did everything go? Great. This is the kind of service that you can expect from me, Don, uh, as your realtor and trusted advisor. Who do you know who's buying or selling? I want to make sure that I take great care of them. Sounds a little cheesy, but I'll tell you, it works. To me, I always call those repair cards the Willy Wonka golden ticket because they're actually a touch point where you can engage with your client and see how things are going and prospect to get additional clients. Great, right. great point and question, Don. Thank you. You're welcome. Don, can I put you on the spot? Um, can I put you on the spot? What are you hearing? And, and, and then we can open it up for everybody. What are you guys hearing out there in terms of the home warranty? Um, because I have a phenomenal risk management uh, presentation coming uh, in March for you guys. No one's had it. No other market center. It's going to be the first one. It's going to talk about what happened in 2021 and risk and helping your business. So what are you hearing out there, Dawn, when it comes to the home warranty? And, and um, what do you usually do for your clients if they push it back? I'd like to discuss that for a few minutes, if we could. Well, actually, I'm new. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've I've done a little bit. I've just got my real estate license in April of last year. I have dabbled a little bit with warranties, not enough. Um, so it's all new to me. And I've heard other agents' concerns about not necessarily with KW, but with other home warranties and um and that was one of them not being able to get the feedback from the company home warranty company about what their clients have had fixed beautiful great and i will tell you um because i'm a veteran area sales manager with our company understand that if something went sideways and your client calls you you want them to call you because obviously you want to be on the front lines to take care of them. That is why I give you my contact information, because if something got denied or went sideways or didn't go the way we maybe thought it should go, uh, you can pull me in to take a second look at the claim. And, you know, I've made my living off of helping people on gray areas and things that we don't typically cover. I'm not saying all the time, but typically I help. And that's why I have the reputation that I do have um, in Northwest Ohio for all these years. So thank you, Don. Anybody else on the call want to mention what they're hearing in the market or any struggles they're facing or any aha moments or questions from our presentation today? I can give my two cents. Um, with home warranties, I, well, number one, I ordered the brochure. So I hand out the paper copy, which always helps. Mm -hmm. People like to see that. But when we put an offer in, I always say, first, we're going to ask the seller to pay for it because it's their home. They want to prove that they're selling a good home. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say 75% of the time, the sellers end up paying for it. Whether they just don't pay attention to the contract or whatever the case may be, they choose to pay for it. And then of the other ones, my buyers want it. So I think just explain to them. And I deal with a lot of younger buyers just because that's what I have. 
and they're used to having extended warranties on things. So like with your cell phone, you know, they have the date, the damage protection. And Mm -hmm. that's kind of the route I go when I explain it to them. I said, are you someone who buys an extended warranty? Because then they get that. They understand that aspect of it. Okay, warranties are for this reason. So I, it's not that I like push it on them one way or the other. I give it their, their option, but a lot of them choose it. I mean, most, actually, probably all of my recent ones I've chose. Thank you, Jessica. I think that's a really good point. And to Jessica's point, I'll add, we're still very much in a COVID environment. People are starting to lock in again and work from home or continue to work from home. Remember everyone, that means they're beating on their systems. They're using their systems even more than ever. So what do we know about using our systems more than ever? They're gonna break. Things are not made I grew up in the 70s. They're not made like that, okay? They're not built to last anymore. So you want to make sure that we're giving them an option with protection and some financial help because they're they're going to need it, you know? Anyone else? Any questions, comments, or thoughts? Well, we're going to conclude um, our presentation on Warranty 101. I want to thank you for joining me again. uh, I would love to do one-on-ones with you. So jlegeza at aphw.com is my email address. Please email me if you want to do a quick five to 10 minute Zoom. Uh, If you have any more questions or you want a real pro account like Uh, Jessica was talking about what helps her business, ease of use, keep track of things. Um, My phone number is 216-410-0670. I'm looking forward to our partnership and working together and helping all of you run more listings and buyers. Please look for the risk management uh, presentation. And I'm going to be conducting a listing clinic as well. So tons of things to amp up your business, um, you know, create processes, giving you the tools. Um, Just so you know, I'm 22 times bold. For those of you that do not know me on this call, I've taken bold 22 times. So uh, my company and your company has the same cultural um, similarities. And I just wanna let you know that I know how important it is to get more listings, run more buyers, innovation pools, uh, I'm here for you. So I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining me today. And that will conclude our training on Warranty 101. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank you, everybody.